Hey, once again, it's your boy Day Day for Triple D Gaming coming at you with another how to video. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So, you want your map to look like this? Just, just covered in your logo? I mean, from trucks to, to trucks to, to trucks. <laughs> Check it out. This thing is, it's mean. But, to, to trailers, to, to billboards, to buildings. Uh, we got it all, guys. So, you can put your logo anywhere. If, again, if you want to put your logo on a map, on the dirt, you can do that. So, check it out. Not only outside on stuff. You can put it inside the buildings. You can put it anywhere you want. So... Uh, you want to know how to do it? Let's get to it. Alright. Let's hop on the desktop and I'll show you how it's done. Alright guys, here we are on the desktop. So, um, anything I ask is if, if you want this to work right, wa watch it through the whole video, please. Um, other than that, let's get to it. Don't mind my desktop, I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> But, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your zip folder of the mod that you want to, um, install your logo on. Okay. So we're just going to right click on it and hit extract all. I'm just going to extract it right to the desktop. All right. So here's the, here's the mod opened. All right. So what your first thing you're going to want to do, um, is you're going to want to look for textures okay right here's textures um boom so if you open it up it's all the textures that that uh, mod is made up of now if for some reason if for some reason that pacific mod doesn't have a folder named textures that's fine all you're going to do okay next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to grab your logo um if you want it to show up on the um, mod with no background, you're going to have to make sure that your mod has um, a transparent background. If you don't have software to make a transparent background, um, I rec recommend um, right here, Luna Pick. We'll go into that real quick. So right here uh i'll go ahead and put the um description or i'll put the link to it in the description so what you'll do is uh let's see here i'm trying to think oh right here so you upload a pic uh picture and you, I think, you, yeah, you can actually drag and drop or just upload it from your computer. All right. And then once you upload an image into here, Lunapic, um, right here, save as PNG for transparent. All right. So you'll be able to save, um, save your photo or your, logo or whatever what they transparent background that's one way of doing it um but that's not what our video is about just trying to help you out a little bit all right so after you got your um logo um your transparent logo or whatever all right so here's mine i'm gonna make a copy of it copy that I'm going to hover over textures and I'm going to paste it in textures. All right. So now if we click in the textures, I'm going to blow it up so you can see it right, right here's our logo now. All right. Now, um, giants editor requires it to be a dot DDS file. This is only a PNG file, but, um, giants editor will, convert it over to the dot dds file for us so we don't have to worry about that so let me go ahead and knock that back down 
All right, then we'll back up. All right, so now you're going to click on um, the editor version of the mod. All right, which it'll say Giants right there. All right, so this particular mod is the um, North Modding Company, the Reaper. And here's the um, bed module for it. And then here's the truck itself. We're going to do the truck itself. So let's click into that. But you got to make sure you put your picture in here first, your uh, logo into here first, whether it you just drop it in there and it'll be down here somewhere, or if it has textures, put it in the textures. All right. If I can get this thing to open up, there we go. I'll tell you the truth, I probably opened it. Yep. I opened it a couple times. All right. So now that we're in here, Okay, so if a mod has, um, see right now the dirt layer is on, but if a mod has like, um, let's say it's a semi truck, a trailer, and it has the box trailer form or it has like curtain form up in here, you would have to put the your logo on both separately if you actually wanted it on both. Um, uh, but let's just click on something. Let's click on something here and I'll show you. All right. So like right there, um, say we clicked on the box trailer of the truck. So, um, the box form and the curtain form is both going to be on here but one's going to be hidden right here where it says visibility so if you unchecked one then the other one would appear or if it was unchecked then you would go over here and, and check it so it would appear so you could actually get your logo onto it um, that's a different story I'm, I'm going to try to make this uh quick simple um but once you get into here the first thing you're going to do all right is let me close this back up for a second first thing you're going to do is i don't know if you can see it up top here where it says create all right click on create come all the way down to the bottom uh where it says primitives click on plane click on plane all right now see just put that plane down here i don't know if you guys can see my pop down menus you should be able to see this though. Matter of fact, it's right here. Planes. Click on that. All right. See, it's highlighted now. So now that we're clicked on it, we can come over up in the. I got it. <laughs> I got to see where I'm pointing. Uh, yeah. Way up there in the corner where my finger's pointing. It says name, planes. All right. We'll go ahead for right now and we'll call that left, left door logo. All right. Now, see down here behind my head. Let me move my head. Now it says left door logo there instead of plane. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is down here where it says material edit editing right here. If you don't have this menu, that's fine. Come right up here to uh, Windows. Is it Windows? Yes, Windows. <laughs> um, attributes. You got your attributes. Uh, material editing right here. I don't know if you can see my drop down menu though. I you should be able to see it now um, the way I'm recording but right here material editing all right so what you're going to want to do when you're in material editing editing we got to click make sure you got that highlighted your left door logo all right um, right here it'll say materials uh, then you have albedo map uh, 
I think I pronounced that right. Gloss map and a normal map. Right here at the top on the albedo map, um, there's three dots right here. Click on these three dots. All right. Now it'll come up blank like this. You want to come up here to these three dots right here. Click on these three dots. All right. Now it's going to open this. So um, if you extracted your mod on the desktop, then all we're going to do is go up here to desktop. Click on desktop. And then we're going to find that mod. Um, the North Modding Company. North Modding Company right here. The Reaper Pack. So we'll click on that. Click on that. Then we're going to go to textures. Open textures. We had to open textures because remember that's where we put our logo. So right here's our logo. Now, if you had your logo somewhere else, like on the desktop or something, and you went and found that, and you used it instead of using the one that's in here, it's not going to work, guys. You have to use the one that you threw into the mod itself. Even though it's the same picture and everything, you have to use this one. Um, then you hit open after you click on it. All right. Now, mine's already converted to a DDS. But if it wasn't, it would pop up and say this file is not the right file and then it says do you want um it'll ask if you wanted to convert it just say yes and it'll convert it over to the dds file all right now you see our plane right here our logo just popped onto that plane it's that easy guys but it is and it isn't so that's not all now if the doors open on this mod inside of the game okay and we just go ahead and we grab this logo we throw it on the door we save it real quick zip it back up throw it into the game well whenever that door opens inside of the game the logo is not going to open with it the logo is just going to stay right there and the door is going to open without the logo on it and we'll get to that just bear with me all right so now now when you get to this point um we're just going to play with our logo here and try to get it on this door the best as possible okay so i'm gonna assume that you somewhat know how to use giant set editor <laughs> uh, but these little arrows on this on this drags it left right up and down forwards and backwards and then these ones here rotate it left and right or you can come up here to the rotate the uh, scaling and all that and mess with it up here um, but for the most part you can do all that from right here all right so this is too big see I can't zoom in for you guys to really see that but in between all these arrows there's a square if you grab a hold of that square and move your mouse left and right, it'll make that bigger and or smaller. Okay, I want to upload this video rather quick. Um, and the only way to do that is just to do 1080p. But I want it to be in 4K so you guys can actually see everything good. Um, all right, so now for some reason my logo is skinny and tall. It's not supposed to be skinny and tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to scaling X. Click on these two arrows and then you got the slider. You can drag back and forth or you could just type in whatever you want it to be. All right, so 1.5 is okay. I'm gonna make it 1.15 like that all right now i can scale it like this all right okay now when you get to this point guys ladies and gents um so now you see how it's hitting in the middle and on the top 
um, if you had Blender, you could actually make your logo to where it's rounded. Um, or you could go right in into Blender with this mod and then um, copy the you'll pull out the door, the shape of the door, and you can make your, your logo exactly that shape. But um, we're not going that far. I'm just going to show you the basi basics here. So if, you, if you're if you not that familiar with it, just find the flattest area as possible. So even though this door is all curved, you're, you're going to want to get it on there as flat as possible because you'll, you'll see it um, floating in the air within the game, okay? So now what you could do, if you really want it on this door, but the door's too curved, okay, so now you could just scale it down like this to where it'll actually fit on there better without floating within the game as bad. There is ways to get it to where you can get the curve on it, though. But that's that's another video. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, but if we was on a flat, flat surface, okay? So I pushed it in there. Now you see the side is sticking out and the side isn't. So then, then we can take it, we can rotate like that, boom. So now it's pretty much the best it's gonna get in the location that it is on the door. Uh, let's pull it out, pull it out. Okay, now if we came up above it and we looked down on it, I, I'm not going to get too detailed here, guys, because I don't want this video to run too long. But then you could hover around it like this to make sure it's not floating off the door too too bad or wherever you put it. Um, normally, I try to get it perfect. So if I do put it on this truck, I will come back <laughs> after this video and make sure it's on there perfect um now after you get it placed okay i'm not sure if these doors actually work on this truck um but what we'll do is we're going to look here right here above my head all right and we're going to look at the different um car pieces because right now oops Right now, if we clicked on the whole truck, okay, and we grab this truck and we pull the truck up. Wait a minute. Back up. Grab this arrow. Yes, and we move the whole truck up and down. See, our logo is just sitting there. It, it's not, the logo is not part of the truck. All right. So, um, Now we got to look around here and find like the cab of the truck. Um, so we got AI. What's in the AI? Just the collisions. <coughs> I haven't messed with this one yet, so I'm not exactly sure where everything is on this one. So I got to mess with it myself. <laughs> uh, and I probably should have picked a car that I knew something about for this video
Alright, so I don't think the doors open on this um, particular truck. Alright, if it did, there would be um, something up here that said like left door, right door. Um, and you would want to get that mod put into that door. So whenever that door opened, that that logo actually went with it. Okay. But for right now, it's not going. So what we're going to do, okay. You see how it's highlighted? Our logo is highlighted right there. Now, if you take the middle button there, the round spinner knob on your mouse, and you push in on that. All right. Hovered over that logo, you push in on your spinner there, and you can move that around that uh, logo around. So, um, again, if we went into here and there was somewhere where the, the doors were, or if, um, like, say you put it on the tailgate of a truck and that tailgate actually moves, you're going to want to find out where that tailgate is inside of here. So you can put that logo inside that tailgate. So when that tailgate moves, it'll move with the tailgate. Um, and the way to do that is you just got to click on everything. All right. And once you actually find that part, it, it'll light up. You see how it highlights whenever you click on stuff. Now you might click on something here and it doesn't highlight the part you need. You actually got to hit this plus button here to for the drop down menu. So you can actually search within that drop down menu for whatever it is that you're looking for. If you know that part is actually animated on that particular mod and you know it's animated, then you will find that within Yeah, up here above me. You'll you will find it. Alright. And I don't think that these doors open and I'm not gonna spend time to see if they do. So the other thing you can do just to make sure that that logo is part of that truck you'll again highlight the logo and just drop it over hover it over top of the main mod until it highlights and then let go of it okay now when we grab hold of that truck let me go back because i accidentally messed up there so now when we grab hold of that truck everything moves together hang on All right, so I lied to you. <laughs> All right, now I got to grab it and I got to throw it right there where it says Reaper. See where it says Reaper right there, which is the truck. Now, let me throw it in there. Boom. Okay, now the Reaper is highlighted. Now, if we grab a hold of the truck. And move it up and down the logo goes with it this particular truck though just the camera moves <laughs> Yeah, just the camera moves. All right, so now after that's done, okay, you got you got your logo placed where you want your logo placed. Then you get it placed up here where it has to be, and this definitely matters. Um, again, whenever you put your um, logo in down here, oh, we got to click on that down here. Um, you have to make sure you find the one that is in um, the actual mod within the desktop or wherever you uh, extracted that mod to. That's where you have to find it. All right, so you'll save it. Even if you don't save it, whenever you exit out of Giants Editor, it'll ask you, do you want to save? Say yes. All right, then it'll save it. All right, so... Now, what you're going to do 
is right here. This is the um, North Wanton Company Raper Pack. Just click on that until it highlights the name. All right. Just right click on the name. Hit copy. All right. I'm going to blow this up so you guys can see it. Now just grab everything in here and highlight it. Right click on that. Right here where it says send to. Compress a zip folder. Now it's going to zip that up. And right here it is. It'll keep it within that same folder you were just in. Now just right click on that and hit paste. And that'll paste the name to, back to it. Now let me shrink that down. Now all you have to do is find where your game is. Where you wherever you put your mods normally, so documents, my games, form sim nineteen mods. Now we're going to go ahead and grab that zip folder that we just rezipped, throw it into the game, replace files. Yes. All right, close that. Okay, now we're going to open up the game, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are in the game. All right, we're going to go into the store. Go, go over to cars. And we're going to find the Reaper. All right, click in it. Now, if it worked it's going to be on there immediately in the store so as you see it it worked um it looks like poo because we rushed it but um there it is i mean it's actually not hovering either i mean it's not floating we actually got it stuck on there pretty good um again it looks like crap but um i knew that was going to happen just because I was trying to rush it to get it in there. Whoa. Hydraulics, y'all. Check it out. See how high we can get it to bounce. So y'all got a, a double video here. <laughs> a how-to video and a how to hydraulic your truck. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a video on just on this. <laughs> Hydros. <laughs> Alright. So then um whenever you change a color on your on your truck, boom. It, it'll go around your logo. So you ain't gotta worry about that. Um now let's let's just go ahead and purchase this right quick so we can look at it closer. Look, and I mean it's really not it's not floating at all guys even though that even though the door was has a curve in it it's really not floating on there it's actually up there on it pretty good so let's see if this door opens okay I did not think it did now if it does open um, matter of fact let me show you to show you real quick right here Okay. Now if you don't get it in the right place when that when that door opens, um when that door opens right there where my legs are, you would just see my you would see your logo just floating right there and the door wouldn't open it. Um but if you get it in the right place, it opens smoothly with the door. Just like so. Okay. Um then we got it plastered everywhere guys so it, same with this one here it's on top too but with the doors open it, it moves smoothly with the doors it's not floating it looks good all right now let me jump back to the shop here real quick all right I mean, you can put it on anything, guys. Buildings, um, you name it, you can put it there. If you had a map, 
and you wanted it to be in the dirt you can put it in the dirt on the map wherever you want to put it um but as you see we got our billboard you, you can make your own billboard we have uh welcome to triple d triple d bill and triple d farms this is my map i play on twitch we're logging jack pine um but that's about it guys so um as long as you follow the little guide i just gave you you'll be just fine um if you got any questions don't feel free to uh just leave them there in the, in the comments and uh if you like what you see go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see what's coming what's next hit that subscribe button and i'm out peace